Hello and welcome to another episode of VT Outdoors. Today we're going to be doing a top 10 baits of 2014 overview. Stay tuned, don't go away. So my number one bait of the year has got to be the Gambler Ugly Otter in Bluegrass. It's just a solid fish catcher. Um, it's that nice sapphire blue, green pumpkin laminate, a lot like an Okeechobee craw. Um, new mix of pumpkin seed, bluegill. I just really had a lot of fun fishing this last year. Caught a lot of fish on it. Um, I like to flip it, flip it around docks, wood, cattails. Um, I've even punched it a little bit. It's a really fun bait to fish. It's got a great action. Definitely go check them out. Um, on to the next bait. So the second bait for me has got to be the Gambler Lures Shaky Shad in Copperfield. I caught a bunch of fish on this last year, particularly smallmouth. Um, you know, just throwing it like around deep rocks, deeper weed beds. Just, it's a really all-around bait. It's got that super thin tail. It gets a lot of action. Um, just nose hooking it, a little 3 8 ounce drop shot. Caught tons of fish. So number three is definitely going to be a Kitek Swim Impact. You know, this is the 4-inch. No particular color. They all work really well. They got that nice, strong squid scent. Caught a lot of fish on this. You know, just shaky head on beds. You know, deep rocks. A lot of places you would fish a tube. This is a really good, you know, renowned fish catcher. Caught a lot of smallmouth mostly on this. But beds, a largemouth. I even caught a couple pike. Great bait. Definitely go pick up a pack if you don't have it already. Number four for me is got to be a topwater walking bait. For smallmouth, you know, early morning you get out there, sunrise. I love throwing the Sammy. This is the smaller junior, um, smaller size. It's a good weight. You can cast it out on, you know, casting gear. And it's a good size, too. Uh, I also liked the Pro Sizzle. I just did a review on this. Great action. It lights up. Um, as you can see, it's lighting up. Uh, caught a bunch of fish on this. And, you know, just good old Zara Spook. You, you can't beat it. This is the Rattling Spook. I have a bunch of other classic spooks, but they all work. Um, really fun bait to throw. You catch a lot of fish on these. Number five has got to be the Sanko. Again, no particular color. Just a 5-inch Sanko, weightless Texas rig. You can fish it like a fluke. You can just let it sit. they got the great quivering action on the fall. One of my confidence baits learned how to bass fish on these. These are great, you know, pretty cheap. And they just catch a lot of fish. You can work them through pretty much any cover. Uh, you can drop shot them, weightless Texas rig, weighted Texas rig, um, shaking head. You can really do anything. It's a really versatile bait. Um, wacky rigging, obviously. I really like these things. They catch a lot of fish. I didn't fish it as much as I did last year because I was trying out new things. But it still, no matter what, day in and day out catches fish. So number six, for me, has got to be a chartreuse Z-Man chatterbait. Um, Pre-spawn and spawn, these things were killer. I was getting... 99% of my bites, um, quality bites too, you know, like three, four pounders on this. They got good quality hooks. They come with this nice trailer. Although a lot of times, you know, you, they don't rip, but just the bass will throw them off if they jump or stuff. I got the, um, the Zoom twin tail, just, just trailers. They work really well. Fits the bait right. Um, and 3 8 outs. You know, this is the only color that I was getting to work. And I really like it. Recommend it. They're four ninety nine. I mean, you can pick them up for pretty cheap. Pretty much anywhere. Great bait. So number 7 is going to be the Booyah Poppin' Pad Crasher. This is like a yellow and black. I don't really know which color it is. But I caught a lot of fish on it. Um, down in Massachusetts, uh, I just really like how it has that popper mouth. I like it working in the thicker stuff because you get more commotion on the top, and it's not just the body. 
and the bass really have something to key in. I haven't trimmed this one, but I don't think that really mattered because, I mean, it caught fish. Uh, great bait, a lot of fun. I love frog fish. Number eight for me was a square bill crankbait. This is this just happens to be a Livingston Lures Pro Sizzle. It's got the nice rattling. Well, it's got rattles, but it also has the um, croaking sound. Late fall, these things, you know, it was the reaction bite, it was on. You had to bounce these off rock, off wood, just anything to create that rack reaction bite. Um, these worked really well then. Number nine has definitely got to be the zoom tube. You know, again, just day in, day out, these things catch fish. Uh, just like three eighth ounce um, head. Got a lot of small mouth on these. I always do. Just a great bait. If you don't have a pack, you should, because these things work really well. Um, great bait. Number 10 has got to be the Missile Baits D-Bomb. And uh, I think this is a love bug. My favorite beaver bait, um, besides the Ugly Otter. It just, it's got a nice meaty head for rigging. It's got that super thin, flexible body. I actually caught my personal best which was a nice five pounder on Shelburne Pond. Flipping this on into these like brush piles and boom. They got a great action. Super quality plastic. They have a scent on it which is really important. I like scent. Um, sometimes I'll even dip the claws. Dip the claws just for extra scent. And I'll do that on I'll do that on a lot of my plastics just because I feel that really makes a difference. Great bait. Um, definitely pick up a pack if you haven't. Um, great bait. Alright guys, so that wraps up my top 10 favorite baits of 2014. Um, definitely go pick up some of those baits if you don't have them already. Uh, leave a comment to see what your top 10 baits are. Um, I had a pretty good year overall. Caught a lot of fish, caught my personal best. 5 pounder. Which is pretty good size up here in Vermont. We don't get a lot of big large mouth. We get more big small mouth. Um, Thanks for watching. We'll get back to you guys with more videos. This has been Leo's from VT Outdoors. See you later.